Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to continue in the book. We're going to be in the uh, New Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And we are going to be in the book of Matthew. And so we'll do it chapter by chapter. And if you have questions or anything, you can put them in the comments or you can send me an email and I'll be happy to help answer any questions that I'm able to answer. And if I don't know the answer, I'll tell you that and then I'll research and get you an answer. We can also ask the Holy Spirit, you know, which will be inside of you that can help you answer any questions you have. He will answer you in the most amazing ways at times that you just will be blown away. You'll be like, wow, that's amazing. Because he is amazing. It's the spirit of our Father in heaven. So we're going to be diving into the book of Matthew, which is the uh, New Testament, the first of the four, the first of the four Gospels. Chapter 1. Verse 1 is a fulfilled prophecy. And um, I want to say that Matthew wrote this as if he were writing to the Hebrews. And so to the Hebrews, the genealogy is important. But for us as Christians, we're really not that into um, the genealogy. But so here... He lists the genealogy from Adam, um, from Abraham, to Jesus. So, this is, uh, verse 1 is a fulfilled prophecy. The book of the generation of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac, and Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judas and his brethren, and Judas begot Pharez and Zerah of Tamar, and Pharez begot Esram, and Esram begot Aram. Now, Tamar was um, Judas. Um, Judas had two, two sons that Tamar had... Um, married but they didn't have any children and they died the Lord took them because instead of putting their seed in her they pulled out and put it on the ground and God killed them for that so Judas two sons died because of that because both of them did the same thing they committed the same sin and then um <clears throat> Then he had another son that wasn't that old yet, wasn't old enough to become married. But he told Tamar, go home and stay with your family. And when my son is old enough, I will um, give him to you um, as a husband. But then when they got old enough to give him to her as a son, he reneged. He didn't give him to her. And so... She dressed up like a harlot one day and she tricked him into sleeping with her and she became pregnant and she had twins, Pharis and Zerah. And um, so that's the two of them. And then Pharis begot Eshram and Eshram begot Aram. And Aram begot Amenadab and Amenadab begot Naasam. And Naasam begot Salom. And Salmon begot Boaz of Rechab, and Boaz begot Obed of Ruth, and, be, and Obed begot Jesse. Now verse 6 is a fulfilled prophecy. And Jesse begot David the king, and David the king begot Solomon of her that had been the wife of Urias, which would be Bathsheba. And the way that came to be was the king saw Bathsheba bathing on the roof of her house, and he was enamored with her, and so much so that he sent people to go get her and bring her to him, and he slept with her. But she was married to a, a man named Urias. Uriah, and so Urias, he was in the army under David the king, 
and David um, slept with Bathsheba and Bathsheba became pregnant and so now to try to cover up his sin because Urias is in the war he sends a note to the captain of his guard to send Urias home so thinking that he would have him come home and go home and sleep with his wife so then she'd be pregnant and there wouldn't be any problem or any question about what David had done his sin would be hidden so he sinned and now to compound his sin he is trying to um, have Uriah sleep with his wife and Urias was an honorable man and he said I can't come home and go in there and sleep with my wife and, 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 and have all this luxury well I know that my fellow soldiers are on the front lines and they're fighting and they they have no luxury they don't have a bed to sleep in they can't hug and kiss their wives you know so he wouldn't even go into his house so David had him come to the palace and got him drunk, thinking, well, I'll get him drunk and then he'll go home and be with his wife. But he didn't. So David committed even an even bigger sin. He sent a, a letter to the captain of the guard to send Urias to the front line so that he would be surely killed. And he was. And then he took Bathsheba as his wife. And she was pregnant with a baby. And um, the Lord, in punishment for what David had done, um, said that the child would die. And so David fell down on his face. For seven days he worshipped and prayed and asked God to please let this, don't let this be, to, to, to spare the child. But then the child died. And when they, when it was known to David that the child had died, that God's will had been accomplished. He rose up, he, you know, took a bath, he ate some food and, and, um, and then he went on with his life. And then Bathsheba got pregnant again and she bore the son named Solomon, who was king following David. So now we, um, we are in verse seven here. And Solomon begot Ro, Roboam and Roboam begot Abiah, and Abiah begot Asa, and Asa begot Jehoshaphat, and Jehoshaphat begot Joram, and Joram begot Ozias, and Ozias begot Joatham, and Joatham begot Achaz, and Achaz begot Ezekus, and Ezekus begot Manasses, and Manasses begot Amon, and Amon begot Josias and Josias begot Jeconias and his brethren about the time they were carried away to Babylon. That was when the Lord said to, to Israel, they were sinning so badly and they would not listen to God and God punished them by sending sword and famine and pestilence. So many were carried away prisoner, captive, to Babylon and then um, verse 12 is like after they were brought to Babylon Jeconias begat Salathiel and Salathiel begat Zorobabel and Zorobabel begat Abiud and Abiud begat Eliakim and Eliakim begot Azor, and Azor begot Sadok, and Sadok begot Achim, and Achim begot Eliud, and Eliud begot Eleazar, and Eleazar begot Mathan, and Mathan begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called Christ. Now, Joseph didn't sleep with Mary, she was impregnated by the Holy Spirit, who overshadowed her. But Joseph was his adopted father, which made him his father here on this earth. And um, that's how he was from the line of David. Now, Mary was from um, the Levitical priest line. His aunt, her aunt, um, Elizabeth, bore John the Baptist. And her husband was Zachariah, who was a, 
a, a, a priest in the temple. So here, verse 17. So all the generations from Abraham to David are 14 generations. And from David until the carrying away into Babylon are 14 generations as well. And from the carrying away into Babylon until Christ are also 14 generations. Now here in verse 18 is a fulfilled prophecy, meaning this was foretold and it's written in the Old Testament. And let's see, where would that be written in the Old Testament? You can find that mm, here. Let me read it. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on the wise, as was on this wise, or as follows. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make a public example, was minded to put her away privately. It's like, um, she's pregnant. I didn't do it. Um, we're not married yet. Um, this is not good. I think I'm just going to send her away. But then, but while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, meaning Savior, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, and this is in verse 23, is a fulfilled prophecy. Behold, and it's written in all caps. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. And that is foretold in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Here we go, continuing verse 24. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not, till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. And so that's the first chapter in the book of Matthew. And um, God willing, we'll continue in chapter 2 tomorrow. And as always, I love you.